Hello everyone, my name is Jake Reed with Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems and today we're going to be talking about how to install the newly developed plate marker for your Torchmate 44 and 4800 cutting table. So let's go ahead and get started. When filling the pneumatic oiler on the back of the plate marker assembly, you want to be sure to use commercially available air tool oil. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen and remove the fill cap. To loosen the fill cap, rotate the cap counterclockwise. Once the fill cap is off, fill the oiler with 1 to 1.5 ounces of air tool oil. When the oiler has enough air tool oil, replace the fill cap. To tighten the fill cap, rotate it clockwise. Use a flathead screwdriver to tighten down the fill cap and again you'll want to rotate clockwise to securely fasten the cap. Next, we'll go ahead and twist the oil adjustment clockwise until it stops turning. Twist the oil adjustment counterclockwise until it is between the 1 and 2 mark. If there is any excess oil on the pneumatic oiler, use a cloth or a rag to clean it up. If you notice that there is oil bleeding from the stylus tip, simply twist the oil adjustment to one. So before we get started, you might want to go ahead and grab a couple of tools, one being a 5-32nd Allen wrench and one being a 3-32nd Allen wrench. All right, so with the tools in hand, why don't you go ahead and grab yourself a piece of plate to go ahead and lay in the water table, because when you bring the uh, torch to the material, and you're mounting those bolts, you don't want to accidentally drop the bolts in the water table. Otherwise, you're going to have to go fishing. So get a piece of plate up there, A-OK. -okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start jogging Y negative and X plus, bringing the torch over to the material. And we'll go ahead and just stop right there. Before continuing with the installation, let's power down the AccuMove controller and the computer. Okay, for the four 1032 bolts, you're gonna to wanna to apply just a little bit of blue Loctite just to the threads when you go to screw the plate marker on. When you go to mount the plate marker on, take one 1032 bolt and put it in the bottom right hole. This is gonna make it a lot easier to go ahead and get this mounted up so that you can actually put in the other three. Just a quick tip, don't tighten the first screw all the way. Tighten it just enough to hold it in place. This will make it a lot easier for you to install the remaining three screws. Now that the four screws are in place, we'll need to tighten the P-clamp located on the right side of the plate marker assembly using a 332nd hex allen wrench to fasten the P-clamp to hold the motor cables in place. All right, next, we're going to be fishing out the power line and as well as the air line that are already tucked away in your cable carrier. So there's no reason to actually go in too deep. You're going to go ahead and just follow the cable carrier back down until you see the quarter inch air hose. And as well, a two prong white Molex connector. So the air inlet valve for the plate marker is actually located right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the air hose, push up, pull back. Now it's locked in place. Now we're gonna plug in the 24 volt power connector to be able to power the plate marker. The power connector is located here. Now you wanna have the push fitting, if you're looking at the back of the unit, is gonna be going in on the right facing side. This can only go in one way. So if you can't push it in, don't force it. It should go in and lock into place nice and good. Okay, along with the shipment of your plate marker also came with an air manifold with an air hose to go right to your plasma power supply. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to plug this manifold in. It's pretty quick and straightforward. The first step is locating the gray quarter inch air hose with the blue tip and locate its free end. Once you locate the gray air hose, attach the free end to the quarter inch NPT push connector fitting on the supplied air intake manifold. Connect the air hose from the air manifold to the back of your flex cut power unit and connect the air supply to the air supply manifold. 
Ensure that the inlet pressure does not exceed 120 PSI. On the plate marker assembly, there is an air pressure regulator located towards the top of the plate marker. Set the regulator to the needed starting pressure of about 5 to 10 PSI. There's an oscillation setting right here at the pin. I want you to go ahead and just turn it to the off position because we don't want the needle vibrating at this time when we're trying to get the needle down into that pierce hole. Now that the stylus is set to the off position, go ahead and power on the AccuMove controller and computer. Now that the air manifold is installed on the AccuMove controller is back on, click on the tool library button. The tool library button will bring up a new menu showing two tools, plasma and marker. Clicking activate underneath the marker tool will extend the plate marker. If you select active again, the plate marker will retract. Toggle the marker off and on three to four times to ensure that all plate marker functions are working correctly. Go ahead and jog the torch over the material of where you would like to set program zero. In the main program page, click set program zero to zero the position of the X and Y coordinates of the torch and allow for alignment of the plate marker tool. Now click back into the tool library and select the activate button for the plasma tool. This will initiate the height control for the plasma cutter to make a pierce into the material. When the height control is initiated, the plasma cutter will pierce the material. Once the plasma has pierced the material, click the plasma activate button to turn off the plasma torch. With the plasma torch off, go ahead and jog the plate marker over the pierce hole that has just been created. Click on activate for the marker tool and adjust the pen's location to the exact pierce location by using the jog keys. If you need to be more precise, you can switch the jog mode from continuous to incremental. Adjust with the jog keys until the pen falls into the pierce hole created by the plasma torch. When the stylus tip drops into the pierce hole without further jogging, click set offset located underneath the marker row. Click the toggle button for the marker to tool to disengage the tool. Once the tool is disengaged, it will retract into its home position. This completes the installation and setup procedures for the plate marker accessory tool. To learn how to set up a program using multiple tools, please consult our Torchmate University video series or by visiting www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash torchmate.com and watch videos 13 and 14 on how to program your design for multiple tool paths and how to sequence your tool paths.